Alright folks, just want to do a quick video here of um, more a knife, or I guess as they say it, more a knife. Uh, this is a Craftline Pro C. Uh, it looks really similar to the Robust, but I'm not sure if it's the same knife or not. There's a lot of different flavors of Mora, and uh, they can be difficult to tell apart. Anyhow, this is considered a utility knife or a craftsman type knife. Uh, it's a carbon steel blade, which is uh, 2 centimeters thick, or .08 of an inch. The, uh, the blade length... Let's see, I can't pop that out. The blade length is uh, 3.6 inches. And then the overall um, length of the knife is eight and a half inches, and it weighs in at about four ounces. Um, it has what's called a TPE handle, so it's kind of soft, rubbery, uh, very grippy texture. It's actually pretty comfortable. Now, I don't have the biggest hands in the world. Uh, I do wear a large size glove, um, and my hand fits on here pretty good. So, but if you have like Sasquatch hands, you might have a little bit of a problem. And uh, I could see how this extra hook here might uh, get in the way or be uncomfortable. Um, you really wouldn't use this hook to hold this knife to be a chopper because uh, it's really no weight to it. And it I don't believe it would be a good chopper. It's more of a slicer, cutter, carver type knife. And uh, I can't see any activity that you'd be doing with this knife that would pull it out of your hand. So I really don't understand what this back hook is. And uh, I don't really think it's necessary. I do like this forward hand guard. Um, it's very comfortable. The palm swells pretty good. And uh, it swells out here a little bit this direction and uh, so I find it to be very comfortable I haven't cut a whole lot of anything other than a little bit of cardboard and paper with it um, I got it about two weeks ago I just haven't had a chance to go out and, and try uh, anything a little heavier duty uh, one of the things I will say about this knife is, is that uh, I paid like 13 14 bucks for it delivered somewhere right around there which I think is a really good price to get a a, a fixed blade knife that seems like it's going to perform reasonably well and like I said it's made out of carbon steel so I don't really have any gripes there uh, one of the things, and I don't know if this is going to come up, this spine is really rough. It's really goofy uh, the way it's finished. It's like it's partially polished. It's almost like it has some kind of, it almost looks like they dipped the knife in some kind of chrome and chrome finish and it didn't stick on the back of this knife. So this, this is very rough, very uneven, and uh, it looks bad. And you know what? I don't really care so much. I mean, you don't buy a light knife because they, they look pretty. Uh, you know, you don't buy a $13 knife, I should say, because it looks pretty. Um, you'd never be able to strike a ferro rod with this, but, you know, again, I'm not real worked up about that. Uh, you could grind or modify it. I was just surprised um, at the finish of the backside of that knife. Um, all that being said, really what my opinions are on this knife is I don't think I would buy another one, and I don't think I'd recommend anybody buy one. This is the... Um, more a companion, heavy duty. Uh, you can also get a more companion that's not a heavy duty. Heavy duty just comes with a little bit thicker blade. I believe the regular more companion comes with a little bit of a thinner blade like this. So if you're really concerned about the thinness of your blade, then you could just get a regular companion for about the same price. And you can see the the blade looks to be about a half inch longer uh, in this particular model. It's a little bit thicker, so I would think it's a little bit more durable. And you don't have the same hand restriction on the handle. Right, if you have bigger hands or whatever, and you don't have to worry about this little little nub here. So it's not that I'm not saying to, hey, you shouldn't buy a Mora. I don't know if I'd buy this one. I don't. I don't know if I would buy um, the the robust. I think I would stick with a companion, um, heavy duty. So if somebody was to ask me, I would say buy this one. Don't buy this one. That that being said, I don't think this is a bad way to spend thirteen dollars, fourteen bucks, whatever it was. So anyhow, I just wanted to do a quick show and tell. That's it. Thanks, everybody.